rangers. <laughs> the Canadian park rangers giving some ramble, ramblers warning about all the bears. Brown bears, they're usually harmless. They avoid contact with humans, so we suggest that you attach small bells to your ransacks. Rucksacks, I mean. Give the bears time to get out of your way. However, grizzlies are extremely dangerous. If you see any grizzly bear droppings, leave that area immediately. And one of the campers is like, how do we know if they're grizzly bear droppings? And the guy says, well, that's easy, the ranger says. They're full of all the little bells. <laughs> <laughs> Life below zero. Hmm. <laughs> so the village blacksmith finally found an apprentice willing to work really hard for long hours. And the blacksmith instructed the boy, he goes, look, when I take the shoe out of the fire, I'll lay on the anvil. I'd nod my head. You hit it with this hammer. Mm. And just, just as he was told, and now he is the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> there were once these twin boys, the age six, they developed extreme personalities. One was a real pessimist. The other was a total optimist. And the parents were really concerned and took him to a psychiatrist. Well, first, the psychiatrist treated the pessimist. Trying to brighten his outlook, the psychiatrist took him to a room filled with toys. But instead of yelping with delight, the little boy burst into tears. And the psychiatrist was like, what's wrong? Don't you want to play with toys? Well, yeah, a little boy said, but if I did, I only break them. Next, the psychiatrist took, treated the optimists, and he, he tried to dampen his outlook. Psychiatrist took him to a room piled to the ceiling with horse shit. Instead of wrinkling his nose in disgust, the optimist climbed to the top of the pile and started gleefully just digging out scoop after scoop with his bare hands. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? The baffled psychiatrist asked him. And the little boy said, With all this manure, there's gotta be a pony in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and that was reportedly President Ronald Reagan's favorite joke. Uh, that was because it was like, in Washington. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that shit he had to go through. So as a Russian's preparing to cross the Ukrainian border, the border guard says, Occupation? No, no, says the Russian, just visiting. <laughs> <laughs> the secret agents sent to Ireland to pick up sensitive information about it from an agent called Murphy, and his instructions were to walk around town using a code phrase till he met his fellow agent. Well, he found himself on a desolate country road and finally ran into a farmer. Hello, says the agent. I'm looking for a man called Murphy. Well, you're in luck, says the farmer. As it happens, there's a village right over the hill where a butcher's called Murphy, the baker's name. Three widows are called Murphy. In fact, my name's even Murphy. Hmm. Oh, says the farmer. Well, uh, I think I missed part of this joke. <laughs> you must be the guy. Oh, the farmer says, no, no, no. You're looking for the Murphy that's the spy. He's in the village over in the other direction. <laughs> I think I fucked that one up. Yes, All right. Yes, okay. <laughs> a guy walks into a dentist's office and he goes, I think I'm a moth. And the dentist says, you shouldn't be here. You should be seeing a psychiatrist. The guy says, I am seeing a psychiatrist. The dentist says, well, then what are you doing here? The guy says, well, your light was on. No. <laughs> I'm a moth, buddy. Okay. You know, the other day I was playing chess with a friend of mine, and he, he's like, let's make this really interesting. So um, we quit playing chess. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> A blonde guy goes in ice fishing for the very first time. This blonde guy's out, and all of a sudden he hears a voice. There are no fish under the ice. And he ignores it, and he moves to another area. It's another hole, crosses the line, and again, here's this booming voice. There are no fish under the ice. And he nervously looks up. It's like, Lord, is that you? No, this is the Ike. Ice rink manager, get the hell off of it. Yeah, we're trying to play hockey. Never <laughs> <laughs> hockey game. This woman walked up to an elderly man rocking in a chair on his porch. I couldn't help noticing how happy you look, she said. What's your secret for a long, happy life? I smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. 
I drink a case of whiskey a week. I eat fatty foods and never exercise. Oh my God, that's amazing! The woman said, "How old are you?" Thirty-six. <laughs> You know, the other day I was thinking, I must be the most unobservant person in the world. And then I thought, well, maybe other people are equally unobservant, and I just haven't noticed before, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's for Catboy. I love that TV show with all the different video clips of things going disastrously wrong. Mm -hmm. What is that called? Oh, oh, yeah, it's the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a Randy one here, and also a high tech. An old hellbilly farmer's inconsolable after his dog goes missing. His wife suggests he take out an ad in the newspaper, and he does. But two weeks later, there's still no sign of the mutt. Well, what the heck did you write in the ad? The wife said, and the husband says, "Here, boy." <laughs> <laughs> and my last one for the night. Yeah, a little blonde girl goes. To the vet and she goes i think my goldfish has got seizures and the vet says well he seems to be fine now and the long girl goes yeah sure but wait till i take him out of that bowl <laughs> <laughs> that's all i got for the night and all right give it